was a wraith that killed me. I did let shot on you? Damn. I'm just like, the only reason I'm out of that because. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Grizzy here back again with another Apex Legends video and this video is all about having that swag and showing that you are the superior and dominant being in Apex. We're talking about damage badges and I will give you guys a clear guide and walkthrough on how to make achieving these badges easier. Since the release of Apex Legends, damage badges have been extremely popular to flex on your legend banner in order to show the rest of the lobby how much of a swag you really are and guys my video today I promise it's gonna help you guys to get higher damage numbers in season 7 whether you're trying to unlock the 2000 2500 3000 or the granddaddy of them all that 4000 damage badge we're gonna cover how to achieve those all here today this gameplay that I have for you guys today is a recent 4000 damage game I've had on world's edge all right guys so let's break it down and let's get into the specific tips that are gonna help you to achieve high damage damage games in season seven. So earlier this season, I did make two specific videos on how to get higher kill games and how to unlock your first 20 bomb in season seven. There are some similarities with your playstyle for both unlocking the 20 kill badge, but there's also some big differences when you're specifically going for the damage badge. If you guys are interested in the easiest way to unlock the 20 kill badge, I'll post a link in the description and have a card in the video for you guys to check out that video as well. One major similarity with the 20 bomb and the 4k damage game or any damage badge for that matter is tip number one and that is landing hot. You want to land somewhere that is highly contested so you're able to start the game with a solid damage baseline and if you're landing somewhere safe and further away from the dropship, you'll likely not find enough fights throughout the game to get that damage number that you want. The specific locations that you want to land on World's Edge are typically Fragment East or West, Skyhook if the ship is starting and immediately passing over Skyhook, or the same thing with Sorting Facility if the ship starts right around sorting. If you guys do land sorting, clear it out, take the balloon and travel straight to Capital so you can start finding more fights as fast as possible. For Olympus, I found that Estates is generally the best location to land hot and rotate over to Oasis to take the fights there and then take the trident or I'll head straight to the waterfall above the turbine entrance. So that's tip number one, land somewhere that is highly contested and rack up some early damage. Tip number two is where things differentiate between the 20 bomb and 4k damage game. Typically in 20 kill games, I recommend running hyper aggressive weapons that will allow you to kill enemies as fast as possible. I don't really recommend running any kind of sniper rifle like a triple take for the 20 kill game, but for the 4K game, I do highly recommend rocking a weapon that's gonna allow you to farm damage. Now the best weapon that I found in Apex Season 7 for farming damage is the Hemlock. Other notable weapons to rack up safe damage from range are the Triple Take and G7 Scout. Some of you guys might not know what I mean by talking about farming damage, but basically the major tip with having some of these high damage games is being in a safe location and continually cracking shields on enemies, maybe getting some knockdowns, but not getting too aggressive to finish that fight as soon as possible. A lot of times with the last team or the last two teams, you can generally get in a very safe position and then just continually fight that team for a long period of time and rack up the damage as high as you can. In the 20 kill games, you 100% want to push every fight and finish it as fast as possible. With this damage badge, you can recognize when a team is extremely passive and you can play their game and rack up tons and tons of damage against them. In this specific game that I have for you guys here today, we had one of the last teams literally sitting on high ground in a tower for the final couple rings of the game. They literally refused to move from their position, so instead of me getting extremely aggressive towards the team I literally sat back and just continually hit them with the hemlock make sure you guys are putting a two times bruiser or a three times on the hemlock or your longer range weapon so you can trade damage safely with the last couple teams 
Tip number three correlates directly with tip number two, and that is stacking up on heals. A gold armor is great for 4K damage games because you don't have to carry as many shields or syringes with you. Just make sure that that last team or the last couple teams that you're farming, that you have plenty of heals because you're gonna be taking damage as well. Next up is tip number four, and some people don't know this, but thirsting a down enemy counts for 100 damage. Even if you do not get the knockdown on a player, you can immediately thirst that down enemy for an additional 100 damage. Sometimes you're gonna need just a little bit extra damage to hit that number that you want, so make sure you're thirsting and finishing down enemies, and that's just one way to rack up some easy damage numbers. Then the last tip for maximizing your damage is actually to not three stack in games. Although playing with two other players will help with your win rate and it's gonna help with your teamwork in game, a lot of the time I found that when you're playing with a coordinated team, fights are going to end much quicker because of your team unity, your team cohesiveness. I found that a lot of my highest damage games have been playing solo where you can single handedly dish out all the damage. I think that the easiest way that you can rack up damage is to play do duos with one other teammate or you can play trios with one other teammate. The majority of the time the random really won't affect the outcome of fights or the match and you can always let your duo know when you want to play a little slower maybe versus that last team to rack up some more damage. Alright guys so there are my five tips in season seven that are going to help you to get that damage badge that you've always wanted in Apex. If these tips helped you out make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. My channel is all about helping you guys reach your goals as a player and I'm determined to build an Apex community that's centered around improving at the game. Thanks for watching the video everyone, good luck on your games, and you know what guys, I'll see y'all in the gameplay. Peace! I saw people on my left as well. Yeah. I knocked one of them, but they're probably resing. Not too worried about it. Frag out. I'm taking shots. Recharge. Right, bamboozle. You got bamboozle. I hate how he like announces it every time he bamboozles. Just, just three Good. squads. We're inside. Yeah, one's just a bloodhound, and he's pretty bad. This other team up top is who I'm worried about. Recharging my shields. I don't have any nades for him. Cracked Wraith on the left. There's a solo over here on the on the right. He took the... These guys are weirdos. Cracked one. This is stupid. Eyes are open though. Follow the tunnel. Seconds, the ring's close. Portal placed. What's it? Look at you. One. You got bad. Got the storm. On me. Nice. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs>